So we're now going to take a look at array deconstructing or deconstructing arrays, however you want to say it. And you may or may not be familiar with the list method. Now, this has existed way before PHP 7, I think even before PHP 5. So uh, we're going to take a look at how we use this first of all, and then we're going to look at some of the improvements that have been made on this as well. So generally the way this works is, let's say that we have some kind of response back, maybe from an API or from our database, and we had a few values in here like so. Now this isn't really that helpful because if we wanted to output, say, the user's name, we would have to say something like response zero, which really isn't that helpful. Now if we know the structure of the response is always going to be the same, this works, but what we can actually do, and like I said, this existed previously, is we can list out what we want in the correct order and then they become variables. So what we would do for the syntax is say list equals response, we assign this, and then inside of here we give each of these in order what we need. So for example, name, age, and color. So in this case, I could just go ahead and echo out name, and this is a little bit more convenient now. We can see we get exactly the same result, the same for age as well, like so, and of course, the same for color. So this is really useful uh, on its own just to kind of clear things up and tidy things up. Otherwise, you would have to do things like name equals response zero and do that for anything else. Now, the improvements that have been made to this are very simply going back to when array was changed to the square bracket notation. So you may know that to create an array, you can use the array keyword or you can create uh, an array using the square brackets as we've done here. So you may see it like this, uh, but really this is just kind of too much code to write. So the improvement was good there, but it doesn't apply to list. What we can now do though, is do a similar thing to this and let's just comment this out, but we can use square bracket notation here. So it's a lot cleaner. So you can see that this will work in exactly the same way like so. So we get exactly the same result. So much faster to type, much uh, easier to kind of look at and cleaner to look at. Uh, and I think this makes a lot of sense. Now, the other improvement is more of a kind of flexibility improvement. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and change the response to actually have keys. So we may get a response back, like I said, from an API or a database that has maybe actual keys for this array. So maybe we have a color here, which is blue, age is 27, name is Alex. Now in this case, if we were to try and do this previously, and let's just go over to PHP version seven to check this out. If we were to do say list name, age and color and assign response here, and we try and echo out name, let's take a look at what we get. So let's come over to PHP seven, give that a refresh and we get an undefined offset zero, undefined offset one, undefined offset two. Now, naturally there's a problem with this because now we're kind of back to square one. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to extract these out. Of course, what you can do is go ahead and assign or either echo out response and then name, but sometimes you still want to use list. So let's get rid of this, go back over to PHP 7.1 and see how this is improved. Now we know that we can use square bracket notation to do this instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll with that. What we can now do though is say, well, we want to extract out from this here the name and give it the variable name, name. And then we could do the same with age. So we could uh, grab that and call it age. And we could do the same with color and we could call that color. And the beauty of this is we don't need to do it in this particular order. So for example, I could get rid of this and I could put it just before age if I wanted to, uh, really however makes sense for you. Now what I can do is echo out name and it's taken from this key, that value, and it's assigned it to name. So now if we hop back over to PHP 7.1, we get the same result and we can try this with color and age despite the fact that we've switched them around. So this just works uh, really nicely. So a nice flexible change here, as well as a syntax change to make this a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to write. Uh, but this is really, really helpful. And if you didn't know about list before, then maybe you'll find a use for it uh, now or into the future.